Well, back when the chili farmer was founded back in 1975, Austin was an extremely rich cultural environment. Mm -hmm. It was not only a rich cultural environment, it was essentially a separate community mm -hmm. with its own businesses, its own eco economics, but it was, it was especially rich in terms of music. Uh, it, it was just, you know, it was a complete countercultural phenomenon mm -hmm. back then. And, and the uh, creative environment, and even the entrepreneurial environment, mm -hmm. such as what brought the chili parlor for it, right. was very, very dynamic. The guy that started the chili parlor was a guy named George Abbott. And there were a, um, there were a number of things that um, was, was going on in Austin at the time the Chili Parlor started. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the big things that was happening were they had uh, chili cook-offs all over the state. The big one was in Terlingua, out in the Big Bend. And it was the Terlingua Chili Cook-Off. It was the biggest one in the state. So. When George set this up, the chili parlor up, he set it up specifically as an anti-chili cook-off. So the important thing was that whatever the cool thing was, we're not. <laughs> and we take pride in that. I mean, and so that's why you'll see the sign over here where it says, uh, no beans, no ketchup, no Lone Star, no foo foo drinks. That was, you know, George hand lettered that and put it up there. And so there was this, always this ornery, <coughs> contrarian kind of vibe here. This is not what you get. This coronavirus is going to be a delineation, a line. It's going to be like, BC and AD, but this is this is a clear break, a clear delineation, and you know, I don't think I've ever seen any, anything like it in history.